Hello everyone, welcome to Test TestNG tutorial. I am Raghavendra Mishra and in this video we are going to see how to generate LO report in Test TestNG and Selenium 4 project. In nutshell, LO report is a flexible multi-language test report tool to show you a detailed representation of what has been tested and extract maximum of useful information from everyday execution of test. So in order to configure LO in our test engine and selenium 4 project we have to add certain dependencies in our maven project so those dependencies are test ng selenium java web driver manager lo test ng web driver manager might be optional but lo test ng and test ng are kind of you know mandatory and important dependencies for lo to work so next is we are going to make sure LO is installed in the system and then we will run the test and generate the LO report. So let's go to the Eclipse and see how LO can be configured and a report can be generated. So for that, I'll create Maven project. I'll give a name LO report demo and I'll click on finish. I'll go to the project and uh, pom.xml and I'll just type dependencies. I'll give a couple of spaces here. We'll go to MVN repository and test for alert. Uh, let's test for test ng first. Add that. So this version of test ND although shows a couple of vulnerabilities but never mind just copy it and add it to dependency add it to pom.xml just go back just save it and just go back to the mvn repository again and search for selenium java and add this 4.6.0 version and quickly add to the pom.xml save it and then go back and just add web driver manager that is optional as i said web driver manager but we can have it added to pom.xml just in case if you are least bother about adding the latest browser driver geeko or chrome driver or any driver right you can make use of this dependency and then most important dependency we have to add to this pom.xml is allure test ng so i'm gonna go and add this 2.20.1 copy it and add it to the form.xml just save your project and update your maven project by right click on the project and just click on update project and i will now go to the src and add one package here which is nothing but the s dot adda dot vr doing earlier project here i will quickly create test ng class real quick okay so i'm gonna go and uh, create test case one i'm going to copy i'm going to write one test method very simple on uh, these test cases test classes are so what i'm doing here is i'm just asserting to true and i'm passing false value so intentionally i'm making this test script fail so i'm going to write on the console that test method is not what not working as expected is not working as expected okay so that's done and now what i will do here is i will just make a 
copy replica of this and add test method to here will pass true and i will say test method 2 is working as expected you know now what will happen when i run both of them i mean one by one so this is going to fail and the other one is going to pass okay so this is fail because of that assertion okay it is expecting true but found false and this is going to be pass because it is it is found true value right so this is pass now what we have to do we have we have to do is we have to go to test ng and convert those to to the test ng dot xml i will give the name smoke testing let me write capital so the suite name is test smoke testing i'll click on finish and now my test ng is ready you can see that here and let me run both classes as test ng suite so you can see one pass and one failure right cool now time to see if allure is configured or not so come back to this slide and see allure is configured there is two way to uh, know that right or confirm that if allure is installed and configured so you can go to cmd and check for allure version so this is showing 2.20.1 and also mvn is installed or not so it is also showing mvn is installed okay probably you can give this and see the version of mvn right if not you can download the binaries and add it those uh, binaries i mean set to the system variable or path okay and there is another way so i'm pretty sure that you can do that if not you can go to this you can search for allure binaries for windows go to this github path and download the binaries from here okay so this is that unzip file just download it extract it and add i have already downloaded and extracted it so you have to copy this path and add it to the variable okay system variable and that's done and after right after that you can just confirm it by checking the version if it is installed and configured right there is another way to install allure through scoop so this is the command i'll share this slide in the description of this video so you can make use of this command to confirm if Eldor is installed. Since the scoop is already installed, it will say it is already installed. Then time to install Eldor through scoop install. And also, in my case, in my system, it is already installed. So it will say it is installed, already installed. Okay. All right. Then you have to go back to your project, Eclipse project, and refresh your project. So since you have already added the dependency, it will actually create the LO result folder when you refresh it, and you can see that LO result, right? Now right click on the your project and go to the properties and go to the location. And from here, go to your project, and from here open the command prompt and type LO and serve. This is the command. So what will happen here is, so it will actually create the create a local JT uh, server instance which you can see and open the report in a default browser. So you can see right. So this is the report and uh, you can click on the test and you can see the test case one is failed and test case two is passed right. You can also see the history. You can see the number of retries. Retries. You can see the over uh, overview. You can see the duration of this test. Everything is here, right? You can intentionally, you know, fail the test cases, and you can also see the graph by severity and uh, blocker critical, right? So everything is here. So it is very very useful uh, report. And uh, let me also tell you, like um, earlier framework. 
again i am reiterating and you can also go to that um, uh, i mean uh, qa metadata dot io and uh, let me just go to that site qa meta data and uh, allo reports you can go to the pro uh, product and you can see the allo report so all the detailed information is here so you can refer to this doc for more detail documentation and yeah so you can see right allure framework is flexible lightweight multi-language test report tool that not only shows a very concise representation of what have been tested in neat web report form but allows everyone participating in the development process to extract maximum of useful information from every day execution of test so there are two perspective right qa and manager right so this is useful for both so from the qa and dev perspective a low report shorten command common defects life cycle so test failure can be divided on bugs and broken test and also logs steps fixture attachment timing history and integration with tms and bug tracking uh, system can be configured so the responsible developer and tester will have all information at hand okay and from the manager perspective allure provides a clear big picture of what feature have been covered where defects are clustered and how the timeline of execution looks like and many other convenient thing modularity and extensibility of allure guarantees that you will always be able to fine tune something to make allure shoot you better all right so you have seen that right now intentionally make some test case for uh, fail and broken pass skip you can do that all right so and uh, let's add one more test and let's make that test case skip we will skip that test case so here what i'm going to do here is like uh, i will just throw new skip exception and say this test will be skipped okay and this is going to be my test method 3 or maybe i can add a couple of more tests if i want here let's say 4 and this will also be skipped okay now we can add this to form dot uh, test and dot xml one more classes we have introduced right and we will run it quickly and refresh our project okay so you can see uh, one pass and one fail okay and it skips to i will refresh it and i will go to the same browser and let's see if so if we refresh i mean nothing is going to happen so what what does it mean it means you have to cancel this and you have to generate the report again okay again it will create the instance of jt server and show you the latest on your project okay so you can see right so two skips two test got skipped right so this is what it is and it will show you the detail of that okay so test case 3 this is that uh, class test ng class 3 test case 3 and two methods got skipped you can see the graph everything is pretty and uh, you know very crystal clear right so this is the very basic of you know allo report and which will actually give you the detail of each and every action you performed in your test ng and uh, yeah i hope uh, this information is useful and uh, yeah, and if it is useful please do subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and uh, uh, allow our annotation i will be covering in next video so for that i mean you can stand by um, on this channel and uh, I'll, I'll see you in next video thanks for watching